Hey y'all, in today's video I'm going to be turning this 2x4 into a wooden sword. Let me show you how. The first step was breaking out the miter saw so that I could cut the board in half. Next, after moving some stuff out of the way, I was able to pull my planer out so that I could plane my board down to size. I just used a shop vac with an external cyclone as dust collection. I planed about an eighth of an inch off of each side of my board. This ended up taking a while because I kept tripping the breaker on my extension cord. After I flipped my breaker twice, I switched my shop back to a different outlet. When I was finished planing my board, it was about one and a quarter inches thick. Next, it was time to pull out my bandsaw. I keep my bandsaw on a flip top cart with a drill press on the other side. I uploaded a full build video of this stand on my channel. I clamped a 2x4 to the bandsaw to use as a fence. This was the first time I used my bandsaw to rip a board in half. Alright, second time's a charm. Just kidding, let me change out these clamps first. So I ended up spending the next 20 minutes tightening the blade, uh, trying it again, retightening the blade, the blade falling off, uh, taking the covers off, retightening the blade, doing it again, and keep going, and tightening the blade, and retensioning it, and it falling off, and then getting it straight again, and then eventually, I finally got the board cut. Alright, so now I got my two pieces cut, and now I can make one of these into a sword. I drew a line making my board two inches wide, and then I freehand drew the tip. Then I went back to the bandsaw and cut out the shape. It's s s sanding time! But before I could start sanding, I had to take the stop off my sander. After hooking up my vacuum, it was time to start sanding. This is me noticing that the dust collection port on the end of my sander is sticking up higher than the sander. Uh, I guess we won't be collecting dust on this project. Next I just sanded and sanded and sanded for probably about an hour. I was trying to get a sharp edge on both sides and a straight line down the center.
After that, I took my sword to my small belt sander to shape the tip. Next, I marked out where I would need to cut for my handle. I then cut that out on my bandsaw. Next, I used a blue tape and super glue trick to glue two pieces of wood together. I needed these two pieces of wood glued together to use in the sides of my handle. Then I used the sander to take down the edges. Next it was time to start working on the handguard. I'm sure this has a specific name. I do not know that name, so I will be calling it the handguard. After marking out the hole for the blade of my saw, I drilled some holes and started chiseling away so that I could fit my sword into it. And then I fucked it up and I have to start over. Ta-da! The size of my handle ended up being way too big, so I started sanding it down to make it the right size. But first, I should put my stop back on. And after a bunch of sanding, I finally got them down to a good size. I once again used the blue tape method to super glue them together. Then I cut them down the sides of my bandsaw and started shaping them on my sander. After that, it was time to start shaping the handguard. I used both the belt and disc part of my sander to do the shaping. I decided to go with some old brass screws I had laying around to attach my handle to my sword. I pre-drilled and countersunk the holes before screwing in the screws. I decided to add a little metal piece to the end of my handle. I've never done any metal fabrication, so I thought this would be a good place to start. I tried starting on the grinding wheel, but I realized that the sanding belt was a lot better of a choice.
After attaching the cap to the handle, I tried using a Dremel to shape it to the handle, but quickly realized that wasn't going to work. So I went back to the belt sander, and that was a much better choice. Next it was time to do some final hand sanding. I did this for almost an hour, but it turned out really well. I started with 80 grit sandpaper and moved my way up to 220 grit sandpaper. After finishing up the blade, I did the same thing on the handguard and the handle. I disassembled the sword again and stained the handle and the handguard different colors. And finally, the final assembly. The handguard ended up being a little bit loose, so I used some fishing line wrapped around the handle to tighten it up. The final step was to apply a coat of spray polyurethane. All right, so I got it all done. Let's see if I can get a close up of it for you. It would mean a lot to me if you could give me a follow and leave me a comment. This took me a long time and was really fun to make, but it was very stressful to film it. So. Please uh, tell me I did a good job in the comments to make it worth uh, all the effort of filming and editing this video. Bye!